What's up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and we are checking out a little Medal of Honor Warfighter tutorial. Uh, this was a request from Blonde Bassist on Twitter. He uh, tweeted at me, asked me to do a tutorial on unlocks and how the customization works. So this, by the time we're done, you should totally understand how the customization works in Medal of Honor. Uh, so the first thing, if you go to My Soldier, of course you have different classes. Uh, inside each class are a lot of different ways to customize that unit. So let's go over to the sniper, we'll click Customize Unit, and inside you'll see that there's different nationalities. Different nationalities give you different skins, they give you different uh, ways your character looks. They also give you different equipment. Uh, you'll notice that below each one is different equipment. Some of them may be actually the same version of a gun. For instance, on the snipers, these first few are all Macmillan weapons, but you'll notice that they have different barrels, different skins, uh, different muzzles. So that is how you unlock different items for your guns. So different nationalities, they give you different looks, but most importantly, they give you different uh, different customizations for your weapon. So in order to get all the unlocks, you just need to unlock all the different nationalities. So then the question is, how do I do that? The best way to get a, a visual representation of how this works is to not actually look at the in-game menu. It's actually best viewed online if you go to the battle log and log in under Medal of Honor. Uh, so if you go to your profile and then you click on soldiers, here you're going to see which soldiers you've unlocked, uh, which ones are coming up, and so forth. But even better, even a better view is down right below that. There's upcoming soldiers uh, press click show all and here you will get a visual representation of what soldiers you have coming up so that is the soldier that's the gun that's the weapon that you'll be unlocking and uh, you'll see that it says how many points you have until the next rank so really the only way to unlock nationalities you just have to play and it doesn't matter whether you're playing as a as only the spec ops you'll still unlock items and nationalities and weapons and customizations for different classes so for instance i've been playing primarily as only spec ops but i've unlocked a ton of different nationalities for other classes and different customizations so i actually really like the way that's set up because uh now it, it, I want to play as a sniper at some point, but I don't want to start at the bottom of the totem pole once everybody's been playing for a while. So this allows me to play, continue to work, and, and get my upgrades, but if I want to switch over to a different class, I'm not starting at the bottom level. I'm rewarded for playing the game even though I wasn't playing as that particular class. Another thing you can do on the battle log is actually go over and look at weapons as well. And here you can also get a list of all the different weapons that you have coming up what nationality and what class they are particularly with so the best way to get a, a good representation of how this works is to actually use the battle log so that's my tips for the unlock system on Medal of Honor. If you like this video, if it made it really easy for you to figure out and finally understand how this thing works, please support this video with your like, give a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your buddies, and uh, I would appreciate your subscription as well. We're always doing tutorials, news, all sorts of things on this channel, so I would love to have you as a viewer. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.